What do you see here? A can of corn mutton. Well, just want to show you that. Uh, welcome back to Jim Boy's Kitchen. How are you feeling, everybody? Today, I would like to show you how to create your own hamburger in a different way, a different style, with a very delicious taste. Be creative in your dishes. Now, talking about hamburger, when you think about hamburger, the first thing comes in mind is beef, right? Well, it not necessarily have to be beef alone. It could be turkey hamburger, chicken hamburger, mutton hamburger, duck hamburger, any kind of a hamburger you think about, you could make yourself. Just have the preparation of ground meat and you make yourself a wonderful, delicious hamburger. And of course with that, in this case, I got me on sale a nice pack of uh, beef hamburger. Turn it around this way. <laughs> could be chicken, could be turkey, whatever you like. All right? I'll show you how to create a wonderful dish, which is hamburger today. All right, so you don't have to, it doesn't have to be one special meat, which is beef. Could be pork, could be chicken, duck, so long as you have the ground meat. And I picked this up on sale, believe it or not, for like, it says the price there, but like, how much I paid? Uh, like 12, uh, $20, but uh, it's a good uh, amount of uh, meat here. A couple of pounds, uh, 50%. Savings. <laughs> All right, uh, you could create this uh, by butchering your own animal or whatever you want to do, and ground grind the meat, and it becomes ground meat. Or you could go to the supermarket like I did and pick it up fast and easy. Now I'll show you from here. When you go to a restaurant or so and you buy the hamburger. It's just a regular season. I'll show you how to develop and create your own uh, with a special effect of taste. All right. Uh, so you could have this wonderful special hamburger made uh, easy and simple. Let's go. Are you ready? Let's go to make some wonderful, delicious hamburger. And of course, with that, uh, accompanied is the hamburger bread. Pick it up for two ninety nine. Not bad, right? <laughs> I show you now how to make a delicious uh, hamburger for you and your family or yourself. All right, let's go make some delicious hamburger. Welcome everybody. Oh yeah, and one more thing I must tell you. I don't use uh, computer effects for my graphics. I come natural to you. Like you remember the sign says, thanks, welcome back to Jim Boy's Kitchen or thanks for watching. watching. All right, uh, and it says, please subscribe. <laughs> no computer graphics. I'm natural. I come natural to you in creation to show you how you could create your own dishes and uh, you could feed uh, the entire battalia. <laughs> Let's go make some hamburger, everybody. All right, so simple. Uh, not much to it. Uh, in preparation you could also add anything whatever you want to add this is basically the based ingredients that are prep in this hamburger the meat the ground meat to make this wonderful delicious hamburger and of course uh, you could follow my steps in making this hamburger with this wonderful uh, ingredients and uh, you will have a wonderful tasty delicious hamburger as i repeat again here I got in this bowl uh, two eggs. Now the eggs is used to uh, bind the meat together because with the ground meat, uh, um, it's uh, sh shredded meat uh, that's uh, separated. You cannot wash this meat, uh, the, the ground meat, because it's going to be loosey. The reason why there is no um, bond together, all right? The water will dissolve it away and uh, then it's not going to be um fully um inherited together <laughs> got me one onion for the flavor got me 
Yeah, a little bit of, uh, don't want to use the stems on the celery. I just got me some leaves from the celery. I uh, got me some cilantro and some parsley. That's all it takes. And uh, you could also add, hey, you want to add mango in your uh, hamburger? Fine, you're going to have a mango hamburger. It's a creation. You could create whatever you want to make. And I'll show you the next step. I'll cut these bad boy up. There we go like this. Cut away, cut away, cut away, cut away. Don't have to be pretty, don't have to be a superstar. I tell you once again. I uh, want to get uh, some chunks of uh, this wonderful uh, tasty uh, vegetables or ingredients. So I'll recut it. Uh, got me the celery and the parsley with the uh, little uh, cilantro cut up here. Want to get a texture, could, could blend it, but you don't want to, want to get that wonderful texture in the meat, all right, uh, because when this cook together, you will have that uh, crunch of this wonderful vegetable. Want to cut it up very, very finely. I don't uh, recommend a food processor or a, a blender for this, all right. You want to get those chunks uh, of uh, tasty vegetables in this wonderful meat is, uh, it will be used to give that wonderful flavor. That's done. So simple. Now with the eggs. I just crack two eggs. One. Look carefully. It doesn't matter if uh, the leaves are all in there right now. The, or the ingredients. just want to show you a crack two eggs right here. So simple and easy. And this is going to use uh, as a glue or a banding for that... Uh, wonderful meat all right now i'm going to just uh, whisk it up use a fork or a whisker doesn't matter oh man look at this creation of your own hamburger so you don't have to uh, uh you know you go to a restaurant uh, hey restaurant does their thing but uh you know uh, you go to a restaurant when you order hamburger it's one style that comes in, right? Am I right? Yeah, <laughs> or one flavor. Now, um, I do thank that uh, restaurant owner one time approached me and said he's going to start cooking like Jim Boy's Kitchen in his restaurant. He's going to follow my recipe and cook hamburgers and all different uh, food uh, to sell in his uh, restaurant. Hey, good luck, and I do appreciate that, Mr. Roger, yeah. Step by step, folks. Want to take this bad boy out? Dump this bad boy in here. Wonderful. Take it out of the pan. Now, showing you step by step. This process uh, needs your fingers and your hands to work in this. So you want to wash your hands very cleanly and uh, show you the next step. Before I add those uh, vegetables that I cut up, I want to add in these uh, ingredients first, this season. Got me some ground black pepper right here. So in this way, when I turn up the meat, when I mix it, it's going to be inherited, <laughs> incorporated into the meat. Put some bad boy garlic powder. And of course, I want to put a good much garlic powder. Love garlic. It gives a flavor to this wonderful hamburger. Now, I want to tell you this, not everyone preparing hamburger in a restaurant will take the time to give you a wonderful taste. They'll throw some season and call it George, right? <laughs> yeah, put some seasoned salt right there. That's going to give it flavor. Now, what I will do is mash this up, incorporate everything together. Make sure your hands are pretty clean enough. Oh, man. You had smell of vision. It's not even made yet, and uh, it's good. <laughs> Smells good already. Create yourself. Create the hamburger yourself, folks. All right. Got some nice garlic powder, some ground black pepper, some seasoned salt. Now, time to add the vegetables that I cut up. All this wonderful goodness. Now. At this point, uh, you have a choice. You could add whatever you want to add in here, all right? You could put whatever you want to add in here. Look at that. 
because you're creating the hamburger yourself. But make it my way, you will love a wonderful, delicious hamburger, right? For all of you hamburger eaters. <laughs> all right, show you the next step. Got me a half an onion. Same way uh, uh, as I cut up the vegetables, those parsley, cilantro, and all of that. Want to cut up half an onion. The same way, give it some fine texture. Remember, food processor, I do not recommend for this because I want all that juice and the flavor from this onion to incorporate uh, into that wonderful hamburger. Look at this, folks. Oh, man, make it my way. You will love it. I don't want to put too much. Don't want it to be too oniony hamburger. But want it to have that flavor. All right? Nice. Put this bad boy right in there. In goes the onion. Oh, man. Wonderful preparation of a beautiful, delicious, tasty hamburger with creation of Jim Boy's Kitchen. Step by step. I'm going to mix this bad boy up. We're trying to incorporate uh, this wonderful meat in here first, all right, uh, with all the ingredients. Because once we put the bond, uh, the bonding, it's just a bond, not to give much of a flavor. And that, uh, I'm talking about those uh, wonderful scrambled eggs. Now, if you to tend to fry this or cook this together, it will loose off because there's no glue to this, all right? Uh, so, because there is no much fat into this, uh, whatever fat is there will tend not to bond the meat. So this is used as the bonder right here. This wonderful egg, scrambled egg, raw eggs. Oh man, at the same time it will give you a nice flavor, but the meat will overcome the egg taste, all right? Wanna put this bad boy up? Just like so. Now I could feel that glueiness and that bond, uh, the bonding together, yeah. Oh man, oh man, with this wonderful season. Do you want us to add a little bit more of those wonderful uh, ingredients? Um, those season, like the, I feel like adding some more for flavor. Do you want us to do that? Do you want to do that? Come, let's do it. <laughs> I'm for real. Creation. Add a little bit more garlic powder. You like garlic powder? How about adding some black pepper? Now, you have a choice. There's an option. You could do this right here into the meat, or you could do it as you're cooking. But guess what? I love to kind of do it uh, into the meat so everything is uh, inherited or combined into the meat to give that wonderful flavor. So that's the secret, folks. You want to um, give all the flavor into the meat before you start cooking it. Look at that. Oh, man. Now... This mixture is done, folks. This mixture is done. And you have smell of vision. It's not even ready yet. <laughs> and it tastes, it smells so good. I said taste, right? So I was just to take a taste of this. So now you see the bonding? It starts binding already. Oh man, suppose we make a big hamburger like this. And then you slice it up, right? Like one of these uh, um, nice... Uh, big uh, meat loaves well you could actually continue this into meat loaves you know yeah i'll show you how to make a delicious meat loaf but right now this is perfect making hamburger now the next step i'll show you the next step so simple and easy you can use a plate or a tray like this one well what i will do is uh freeze try to put this in the cooler the freezer to marinate well into the freezer and when I'm ready to use I could always take out one or two and cook it up and eat it you know what I'm saying right so now I will use this for the freezer and uh, if I have excess then I'll use the plate to show you the rest <laughs> now it's time to work on this bad boy hamburger so simple and easy folks you don't have to be a superstar. How much, how big you want the hamburger? Big, big? Or you want us to make it a little small? Let's see. Make a circle. The egg is the combination, is the, is what used to combine and kind of a glue up the meat together. Make a circle. Nice little ball. And then you press down one. 
Press, 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 press. I'm getting greedy. I feel like making a bigger hamburger. <laughs> but you could have fun doing it. This stick is pretty good. This thickness, right? Yeah. Oh, man, look at that. Now, look at this, folks. Nice and easy. Oh, man, look at that. Beautiful hamburger. Right there. That's one. One hamburger. Done there. Nice, right? Yeah. <laughs> and so it is. The process continues. Now, there's another way. I will show you. I will uh, make a few. And then show you another way. I will make this even juicier as it's cooking. All right. I'll make some plain like this. Now, the meat... Uh, Already, uh, you know, uh, as the butchers make these uh, ground meat, what they did, which is uh, very great that they're doing that, so you don't have to build it up yourself. They leave a few uh, tiny speckles of fat in the meat, and that's what creates that juiciness, all right? Oh, man, this is nice. You don't have to be a superstar. You could round it up how you want. Oh, yeah, that's number two hamburger. Oh man, look at this. I want you to see this. Make it any shape, any style you want. Oh, the small one is yours. The big one is mine. <laughs> uh, you remember doing that? So I'm going to continue making these bad boy and show you the next step up to this meat or the season, what I'm going to do to it. Now, you can use parchment paper. I got four of them uh, already uh, square off, uh, circle off nicely into a hamburger here. Um, but take another four there for the freezer. So what I'll do, you could use parchment paper. Just uh, put a simple uh, tissue on top of it. And I'll put it uh, another four on the layer. All right. You don't have to worry that the tissue... This is one of the hard tissue, not like a, a bounty to absorb the fat or the, the juice of this hamburger or the flavor of the hamburger. All right, so you can use parchment paper, I recommend to you. If you don't, you can use a tissue just like what I'm doing and rest the other one on top. This is so that uh, they stay separate from each other. So simple and easy, all right? Continue, and I want to show you one more thing. Uh, the, you got a circle, make a complete ball, keep going into a ball, sing a song, wrong ball, wrong, wrong ball, wrong, the ball go round and round and round, the ball go round and round, <laughs> because you want to kind of a seal the meat uh, as you press down, so it doesn't uh, loose off uh, as you cook it, uh, it's combined with the egg. All right, uh, look at that. Don't have to be a superstar. Could even put some prints on it, right? <laughs> nice. Uh, that's hamburger ready for the bar cooking process. And I'm going to continue making the rest. And with this, I've got to say hello and uh, to Mr. Rudolph and uh, Miss Joyce from Elizabeth, New Jersey, that uh, called in and said they, they appreciate it and love the dishes that I'm making and the scenery as well. Thank you very much. Also, Mr. Roger, the owner uh, from New York City, that uh, said that uh, he's following my recipe in his restaurants and his customers love that uh, uh, the dishes I make uh, with my creation of recipes. Well, uh, the way I kicked it up a notch, he kicked a regular recipe up his notch, uh, the Jim Boy's Kitchen way, and of course... Uh, he asked me my name. Hey, you call me Sammy or Samuel V. Sammy too, you know. I'll accept that, yeah. And he said his uh, customers love it. So that's a good uh, word I've gotten from that wonderful gentleman. I got me eight hamburger already here. Eight hamburgers already ready, 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 ready. <laughs> Close this bad boy. I actually could fit, uh, because of the depth of this cover here, I could add another four more on top here, right? Yeah, just like so. That's a piece of this wonderful uh, vegetable. Put it back in this bad boy here, yeah. <laughs> now I'll show you another secret. Margarine, parquet, parquet. Yes, it's butter. 
to give it a little uh, juicy, even extra juicy flavor. I'll add some butter in this bad boy and mix it in. Oh man, pull this bad boy out. Yeah, that's perfect butter. Yeah, and now I'm going to show you another secret. <laughs> Remember, you could create the hamburger the way you want it to taste. And the way I'm doing it, oh man, Mr. Roger, you're going to follow this recipe again, huh? <laughs> Mix this bad boy up. Oh man, do you know what I'm doing here right now? I'm building, adding in some extra fat with the butter to make it kind of a uh, oily, juicy, not oily, but uh, kind of a juicy, all right, as it runs down your uh, mouth. <laughs> yeah, so that's my little secret there for this hamburger. And uh, if you want to make a cheeseburger, very simple, uh, you could put it uh, to cook and then put the cheese to melt on top, or you could add the cheese inside of here, cut it up, mix it up together, and it will create a wonderful texture. Another time I'll show you the cheeseburger in creation with the meat, all right? Jim Boy's Kitchen all the way. Oh, man, look at this. Oh. <laughs> I'll continue the same process. Shape them up and put them in the pan. Don't know why I love this one. Look how nice and beautiful and round I shaped it. It, it was shaped by Jim Boy's Kitchen. Oh man, Sammy the man, the wonderful hands of Sammy, or Samuel V. Sammy. Yeah, look at this. Oh man, nice. Put this bad boy down. And I could feel the atmosphere of the butter that I add into this one here, onto this uh, section, uh, to give it that wonderful moisty uh, moisture uh, of flavors. All right. So that's another creation of Jim Boy's Kitchen. And of course, folks, uh, oh man. I want you to make it my way, you will love it. Create your hamburger your own way. Doesn't have to be one way. Like you go to a, a restaurant to order hamburger, you know it's gonna be all the same texture or almost tasting the same way, right? Yeah, got me some more. I wanna finish, uh, prep these bad boy up. How beautiful, folks. A wonderful full dish of uh, delicious uh, hamburger already prepared, ready to cook. Pop this bad boy in the freezer and let them uh, kind of uh, do their thing, all right? <laughs> now, without cooking as yet, uh, beauty and taste as it best, as it's best. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, these are four extras I got beside of that tray in the refrigerator. Got these uh, right here, ready to do this bad boy. Make it my way, you love it. Got me a 20 year old pan, brought it up to a heat, time to toast this bad boy hamburger. And I recommend uh, for a wonderful, uh, uh, oh man, for a wonderful result, it's good to toast your your hamburger bread in a hot pan, so you got the flatness of it, all right? Very good, yeah. So when I toast this bad boy up, right here. Wonderfully toast, huh? Look at that. So you have an even, a wonderful, uh, natural toast uh, on this bread. That's why it's always uh, recommended to use a frying pan or a flat surface of uh, uh, cast iron to do this, all right? You get a better toasting of the, of the bun. <laughs> Took it off the pan. Here it is in the plate. Now you have an option, you can put butter if you like, or mayonnaise. I love my hamburger with mayonnaise, so I'll add some mayonnaise uh, while this is hot, so it melts the mayonnaise into the bread. Now it's time for these bad boy wonderful hamburgers. One, gotta hear that sizzling. Two, the, put a small one, keep that one for later. <laughs> Three. Have fun with it, all right? Now I'm going to let this uh, uh, do its thing for a wonderful 10 minutes or so. Got to check it and make sure it's cooked through. At this point, I'm going to cover this bad boy so the heat could penetrate on this hamburger. Many restaurants tend to press it down. I don't want to do that. I want to keep the juice inside of the meat, all right? Of the hamburger. So, I'm now going to press it down. 
And of course, as I'm making this hamburger, I got a big up a uh, woman, a very great person by the name of Miss Lena. I remember she she's a very good uh, hamburger maker. She, uh, I ate her hamburger before very greatly. But that I gotta emphasize to the man, Mr. Victor. Yes, Miss Lena is a. Uh, um, used to make great hamburger back in the days, and I know she still do. And but Jim Boy's Kitchen is going to kick it up a notch now for everyone to enjoy. Uh, kind of a printed out here. Look at that. Another way to make it like a grill: just take the spatula and tip it off a little bit. And I'm uh, uh, going to press it down a little bit, not too much. Don't want to take out the juice. Just want to emphasize the meat into that hot pan. Cover this bad boy up. Oh man, look at this with the butter and everything. Delicious hamburger coming up, all juicy. Oh man, you could uh, feel it glitter. You could, oh man, you had smell of vision. You smell this bad boy right away. Turn this bad boy up the other side. Delicious, juicy hamburger. Now I'm gonna tell you a secret, folks. You don't want to uh, press your hamburger too much, uh, uh, like downwards. Yes, you're trying to cook the beef. Uh, or the meat, or the goat, or the <laughs> everything too, but you're at the same time pressing out all this wonderful flavor. So long as you cover it uh, with medium heat, you're going to have a, a wonderful cooked through hamburger, right? Uh, meat. Cover this bad boy up. Kind of a juicy there, right? <laughs> now this is optional. If you don't like raw, regular onion, don't put onion. I, I love my hamburger with some raw onion still fried a little bit good for your kidneys you know so i'm gonna still fry this bad boy because i'm prepping up my my, my wonderful hamburger there right <laughs> now if you're not uh, you don't like fried onion you don't have to do what i'm doing right now this is just uh, uh follow my recipe try some raw some regular fried onion still fried onion with this uh, bad boy hamburger you will love it folks oh man Add some lettuce and tomato inside, and you're good to go. If you love lettuce and tomato, but make it my way, you love it. Once again, I do commend uh, a woman uh, by the name of Miss Lena. As uh, I would uh, commend her that she's a great hamburger maker also. All right. Uh, yes. Accompanied by Mr. Victor there. Hey, season greetings and vacationing. Uh, with Miss Cleany and Mr. Vincent, yeah, <laughs> in Guyana, yeah, now look at this, wonderful, now, this bad boy is ready, just like so, directly from the pan, folks, make it my way, you will love it, wonderful hamburger, look at that, oh man, make it my way, you will love it, juicy hamburgers, then I'm going to prep it up with this uh, onion. Got an extra piece there to bite, huh? <laughs> to prep it up with some tomato. Put some uh, onion. I love onion. This is options. Uh, and of course, the way this is, uh, the, the way the mixture of this wonderful uh, hamburger has been done, uh, uh, you could always leave, leave these out, but uh, follow my creation here. You will love it. A wonderful hamburger. Get some lettuce inside and it's ready. Get some bad boy lettuce. So you see what's happening here. You don't have to be pretty making hamburger. You don't have to be pretty eating the hamburger. You want to be sloppy, all right? <laughs> put some ketchup inside. Option. And this is optional, folks. Uh, put it directly in the hamburger. How about that? A speckle, a speckle. <laughs> you want to put mango, sidium? Go ahead. Turn this bad boy up, step by step. Beautiful hamburger. Or you could turn it the opposite way, but uh, uh, press it down like this. You want to be aggressive as you do it, all right? Look at that, folks. A wonderful hamburger created by Jim Boy's Kitchen. Want you to make it my way, you'll love it. Looks like Pac-Man, right? Remember Pac-Man with the mouth open? Uh, that's the mouth there, the teeth and all of that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, let's Pac-Man into this wonderful hamburger. Make it my way, Jim Boy's creation, Jim Boy's kitchen creation way. And you will love it. Let's take a bite into it. 
Remember, everything is option. You don't have to be pretty eating hamburger either. You have to be sloppy. Take a bite. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Make it my way. You'll love it, folks. Once again, Jim Boy's Kitchen. Reminding you to be kind to someone that's not kind to you and kindness will prevail. I'm natural to you. I show you everything. All right? Natural. No graphics. No. Natural cooking. Natural scenery. <laughs> Once again, folks, make this dish. You will love it. Jim Boy's Kitchen. Hey, known as Sami or Samuel V. Sami, saying once again, until the next dish or the next scenery, adios, mi amigos, and goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Hamburger, make it my way, you'll love it.